So I'm here with Sini Temba Blom. Great debut. How are you feeling after that successful debut? Um, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling okay, man. What a great fight. I'm feeling good. Maybe that I won. I feel good. So you're a, you're a six-time South African amateur champion. Would you say your amateur experience in fights has paid off coming into this debut? Yes, it did, man. It did. It played a massive role. It did. It helped me a lot to win this fight. It helped me a lot. I used my, my amateur experience. So it helped me. It did. And speaking of that, you actually fought well on the inside with some good jabs. Was that your game plan going into the fight? Uh, the game plan was to outbox our opponent. Yeah, the, our game plan was to outbox him. Um, but we saw that he was running around, you know. So we had to close the gap because he was a little bit taller than us, you understand? So we had to close the gap, you know. So we had to adjust. Because our game plan was to move around and box him. Let him come in and then box him on our way. But now he was standing there and he was using his reach. So we had to adjust, we had to change our game plan. That is why we, see, we saw us exchanging, you know, exchanging blows. So there was, there was a, a top debut. Uh, why would you give your debut out of 10 and tell us why? Uh, I, would give, I would give seven. Um, because uh, there were mistakes, you know. Since it's my pro debut, you know, so I'll give it seven. I'll give it seven. So is this how you actually pictured it going, uh, going the full distance, uh, using your jab? Well, as I said to you, our game plan was to outbox him, you know, and see it as it goes, you know. Outbox him, and if it means that he's tired now, we have to take him, take him on. So that, that was our game plan. Hence you saw me changing our game plan, you know, moving forward, you know, pushing a lot of pressure and stuff. So we had to change, you know. But our game plan was to... We like move around, you know, stick the chair, move and move, you know, and stuff. So that until we get our opportunity to strike, you understand. But it didn't happen that way because it was moving around. So we have to close the distance so that we can get um, proper punching range, you know. Yeah. So since it went the, the distance and the uh, it went to the judges, do you think that your opponent did well? That he fought well? Yes, yes. He gave me a good fight. I'm so happy. He gave me a good fight, you know. He, he welcomed me in this pro ranks, you know, uh, in style, you know. He had, he had two fights, if I'm not mistaken. He had two fights and won one with, with a knockout, you know. So I wasn't, fight, I wasn't fighting a pushover, you know. I was fighting a good guy, you know, a guy who, been, who had two fights and I had none. So, yeah, he gave me a good fight and I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So you know Siko um, Ngotole quite well. Um, how does it feel being on the same boat as him tonight? It feels good, man. It feels good. I mean, I've known these guys since I'm much ranks, you know. They've represented uh, SA, you know. I've also represented South Africa in so many countries, you know. I've been, I've been a captain, I think, for three years in SA, you know. So I know these guys from, from Amateur ranks, like your Tulani Bang game, you know. I know they've been, they've been in a team as well, Team South Africa. You know, so it feels good to, to see them, you know, talk with them, you know, engage with them, you know, after so long, you know, because I've been boxing for 2019, you know, so now I'm back, so it feels good. It feels good. And speaking of Siko's fight, what are your predictions for his fight? Come again? Uh, what do you think is going to happen for, for Siko's fight? It will be a knockout. Uh, it will be a knockout. It will, it will be, you will, you will win by a knockout. So we go back to your fight. Um, you put him down in the in the third round, right? Did you think he was gonna come back down? He was gonna come back up? Ah uh, no, I I thought it it was like done. I thought I had him, you know. I thought I had him, but you know, um, guys who have been boxing in pro ranks, they're so stiff-minded, you know. They push, so he got up and, and fought again. So I thought it was done. Yeah, I thought it was done. So you're 29 years old now. You have been welcomed pretty well to the pro ranking, to the pros. Where do you think you go here for now? How, how long do you think you're going to be in the boxing for? Uh, I won't lie. I'm not sure. But I will, I will be here up until I win a, a world title. That's my goal. Then after that, I'll, I'll, I'll be done. I mean, I've been boxing since I was six years old, you know. So it's, it's been years now. It's been years. It's been years. So once I get my, 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 my world title, I think I'll be done.
think I'll be done. So where to now for Sinetemba? Um, well, our game, our plan with, with our manager is to get into ratings uh, this year. You know, get into lightweight ratings. Then next year, um, we will maybe challenge for SA. So yeah. And lastly, any thank you to family, friends, or sponsors? Come again. Any thank you to family, friends, or sponsors? Um, there's a lot that I need to thank. Firstly, I would like to thank God um, for, 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 for saving me and for actually being with me inside and outside the ring. You know what happens now? People die inside the ring. And I came back alive, you know. So I want to thank God uh, for, for actually being there for myself and my opponent as well. I would like to thank my manager, uh, Lonky Fat Boy, you know, for, for making this come true. You know, um, there's, a lot that, there's a lot of people that would think, give thanks to. Uh, Nomeva for giving us uh, um, his gym, for letting us in train in his gym. Uh, Western Cape as a whole, Eastern Cape as a whole, man. Uh, my sponsors, Snatchama Blom Edition, South Pole Power, Blom Box SA, NUV, Guava, Nomeva. Um, the, the list is endless, man. But more importantly, I want to thank my mom. She's been praying for this day, you know. So thank you, thank you so much to him. And also, I would like to, to give shout out to Mr. Um, Mapasa, you know. He's in hospital now, you know, and he's fighting for his life. So this one is for him. He was, he was like waiting for me to, to turn pro and watch me turn pro. He so said that he's, he's fighting for his life. So this one is for him. And many get up on, on that bed, hospital bed, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Really.